Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 614, There is a Balm in Gilead. And I'd like to today read from the words of C. Michael Hahn, the hymnologist, because I think he summarizes this hymn in a very good way. So I'm going to read from his words here. Few chapters in the Bible may have resonated with the souls of enslaved Africans in North America as Jeremiah 8 did. Israel was an exile. The Babylonians were preparing to violate their holy places for treasure, dishonoring their debt. This is a chapter of judgment and hopelessness. The exiled Jews are forced to live in a far country, Jeremiah 8.19. They wondered what they had done to deserve this. It is the most desperate and despondent time in Israel's history. Then the chapter ends with these three rhetorical questions. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? That's coming from the King James Version, Jeremiah 8.22. The refrain of there's balm Gilead offers encouragement and dares to respond with hope in the face of hopelessness, showing courage in the face of despair. African-American theologian Howard Thurman discusses the refrain of the spiritual. The slave caught the mood of this spiritual dilemma and with it did an amazing thing. He straightened the question mark in Jeremiah's sentence into an exclamation point. There is a balm in Gilead. Here is the note of creative triumph, and that's from Thurman. This note of creative triumph in the face of despair is the reason this spiritual holds a secure place in the canon of African-American spirituals and hymnals today. So really well summarized by hymnologist uh, Michael Hahn, and I, I find it interesting, again, just to review this, he's straightening the question mark that's in Jeremiah 8, uh, and whoever composed this, which we know African-American spiritual, so we don't know the actual person who did it, uh, but then straightening that and making it an exclamation point. And this song, of course, doesn't, um, spirituals should never be played or even sung fast. And they also have that working and crying rhythm. And so I'm going to try to uh, go for that uh, with the registration, but also by the way it's sung and also employing some different harmonies. Uh, so here we go. There is a balm in Gilead.
mention uh, Richard Billingham. I used some of his ideas for the introduction and some of the harmonizations. Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week. <laughs>